Hello everyone, I am Dr. Apurva Popat. I am one of the internal medicine resident in the United States. Straight to the topic. Let's talk about NEAT, PG and USMLE. I'll give you straight points. This is going to ultimately help you make decision for your career pathways, okay? So USMLE. So USMLE is United States Medical Licensing Exam. Mainly it is for practicing post-graduation in United States. So if you do your med school or MBBS or MD anywhere, in the world if you want to practice post-graduation in United States you have to appear for USMLE there's no other way you can practice here okay it's mainly conducted by NBME and FSMB board whereas NEET PG if you want to do post-graduation in India you have to appear for NEET PG examination and if you want post-graduation in specific colleges like AIMS you have to appear for INICET that's Institute of National Importance Combined Entrance Exam now, that NEET PG is hosted by NBE, that's a board in India which hosts uh, NEET PG exam. So let's get to the actual comparison. Number one, we'll talk about duration. So for USMLE, it's divided into three steps. Step one is around eight hours with one hour break. Step two is around nine hours with one hour break. And step three is divided into two days, day one and day two. Day one is around seven hours, day two is around nine hours. Um, so if you notice step one, step two, step three, that's all USMLE. It's a journey, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint race. So you have to build up stamina and it's it's a matter of consistency. Whereas NEAT PG, you, you just take one time exam, that's three and a half hours with set number of MCQs, no usual breaks, but that's just one day. You give your exam and done and score is going to dictate your future specialty. So it's just one step. Next, we'll talk about syllabus. For USMLE, step one, it's mainly first and second year of your med school. So basically the basic science subjects. Step two is more clinical knowledge. I would say final year of your med school is going to be more core for step two. And step three is again all combined. Basic science plus clinical knowledge plus computer-based clinical scenarios. Whereas in uh, NEAT PG, you just have to give one exam and that basically has all the syllabus ranging from your first, second, third and fourth year of med school. Third thing, what resources can you use for these exams? So for USMLE, they are kind of limited resource, not too much like rampant uh, for neat PG preparation. For USMLE, you have specific resources. I have a different video talking about how to master first aid. I mentioned about five steps and how to prepare for USMLE. So you can check out that video, but to summarize, you need a review book like First Aid, you need a comprehensive resource like USMLE Strike, and then you would need a QBank like UWorld. But Neat PG has vast resource you can, you can choose from any of those, like for example, Prep Ladder, Marrow, Bhatia Coachings, any of them you can choose. And sometimes these resources would also offer USMLE coaching, which doesn't make sense to me because that's taught by faculties who are making students prepare for need PG who are themselves practicing in their country without appearing for USMLE exam. So I would, I would recommend keeping those two things separate. Okay, that's about resource. Then let's talk about cost. So USMLE is kind of more costlier option as compared to need PG. So if you look at the exam cost, USMLE each exam, each step would cost you around $1,000. So step one, step two, step three, all thousand dollars. Plus you would have international surcharges if you are um, taking your step one, step two at international locations at Prometric centers. As if you are taking it in the United States itself, they won't have those country surcharges. So it's an expensive option. So all the three exams would cost you around $3,000 to $3,500. Whereas if you compare NEAT PG, it's one exam, 4,000 rupees, that's around $50. So you just give and take. You know, it's not expensive, it's extremely cheap. Um, next, talk about um, nature of the exam. What are the things which are tested? So if you compare with USMLE and Need PG, USMLE is more of a concept-based clinical scenario. They would give you that, hey, patient is now complaining of substernal chest pain, which is heavy. Um, now the blood pressure is on the softer side. And suddenly now the patient uh, develops like flash pulmonary edema, which of the following could be the potential reason. So it's purely concept based. 
whereas neat pg is sometimes memorization until 2019 it was just rote memorization i still remember my day uh, when i appeared for neat pg they would they would ask me the length of the optic now which is extremely bizarre if i want to practice as a physician why would i be interested in knowing the length of optic now unless if i'm a if i'm a surgeon and if i want to go inside the skull and you know play around with the optic now that's a different story but why would i need to know length of optic now so that kind of sounds bizarre to me uh, when they test just facts which are not clinically relevant anyways um uh, next let's talk about outcome what happens after you give those exams so for usmle let's say you get step 1 which is now pass and fail you get step 2 step 3 you have good scores so just score is not going to dictate your future right it's uh, important that you have your good cv your personal statement your interview skills interview taking skills networking and this is kind of more of a holistic approach so they they see you as a whole candidate they don't say hey this person is having high score let's take him for residency it's a holistic application which determines your match results so that's the outcome whereas in neat pg higher you score higher the chances of uh, getting into the residency of your choice but if if you have uh, some you know a lot of reservations and you are in general category that just keeps on adding the challenges which i just don't like let's talk about retake for yeah. usmle that's the one part which i i would say don't like it's the retaking exam if you pass the score is a permanent footprint of for your life so if you just passed each of the exam or any of the exam you cannot retake that exam at least in 7 years whereas neat pg you have multiple attempts so you have chance to improve yourself by studying more so that's why for usmle you only want to take the exam when you are 100% ready and you are scoring good consistently in those practice exams next let's talk about global recognition if you take usmle and get acfmg certified that's that's helpful in many countries like australia new zealand ireland israel uae qatar um and uk so that will give you a global recognition because it's one of the highest standard exam whereas neat pg it's it's kind of limited for india so if you take neat pg you you can practice post graduation in india let's talk about pay what happens after you give exam after you match as a resident your average salary is 60 to 70000 a year so that's more money as compared to need pg if you get into post graduation it's highly variable depending on where you where you get your residency you may have to pay from few lakhs to crores of rupees for post graduation and uh, i don't know how uh, how you you gonna make up after finishing your residency if you spend crores for your residency then let's talk about environment of practicing residency so i would say when i practice here as a as a residence it's it's a friendly collaborative environment there's no toxicity there's no senioritis um whereas there is still some big room for improvements um in the residency culture in india i did my internship and and i saw that firsthand that there's still a culture of you know hey i'm the senior you are going to do what i'm going to say and uh, there is unfortunately a little bit of toxicity everywhere in the post graduation all right um let's talk about the way of practicing if you are a resident here versus in india so here if you if you match the practice is more of an evidence based whereas in india it's more of an experience based you have access to resources here um like up to date jama nejm acp acc aha um these are given to you free of cost as a resident and as a physician uh, which are actually very expensive if you want to go and buy so if you look at the cost of up to date it's like 1000 dollars a year which is 80 to 90000 rupees a year i have never seen anyone subscribing for up to date in india but that's the key to practice evidence based medicine and that will keep up you with latest resource So that was a big conversation. So if you ask me in the end what would you choose? So if you compare USMLE um the bad thing which I don't like about USMLE it's a long journey um the exams are difficult there's a lot of things at your stakes um it's expensive so I'm going to cut two marks 
And if you if you look at that as a, as a positive perspective, the assembly forces you to lay a strong foundation that ultimately, you know, when you go and practice, you are so solid in patient care that's uncomparable. There's a good lifestyle here. There's, there's a way of practicing medicine. So I would rate eight out of 10 for USMLE. If you ask me to compare neat PG, um, the things which I don't like is about low pay, unorganized um, teaching pattern. Um, the environment may be or may not be toxic depending on where you end up doing residency. I would rate five out of 10 for neat PG exam. And for USMLE, I would rate eight out of 10. I'm sure um, you would have your own opinions. You would have uh, things uh, which you might have not liked uh, from these videos. I'd be happy to you know, hear about your opinions uh, in the comments below. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe the video. This is going to help me in making future free videos for you guys. And uh, please do check out my Instagram handle, Dr. Aparwa underscore Popat. And uh, if you are the one who is planning for preparing for USMLE, please do check out USMLE Strike app and check out one of the free videos. Thanks for watching.